men will sleep with all sorts of things. But as far as taking you serious, a man preferably does not want to be with someone who is overweight or obese. And look, there's levels to that. Because a lot of y'all think y'all overweight, y'all not, y'all thick. Even though you can stand and get in shape, you know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all. But so when we're talking about obese, we're talking about dog, like un, in an unhealthy manner. You know, hey, super th- hey, big. thick is thick, okay? Yeah. My whole, like, I'll, to judge your health, can you walk a mile? Can you walk a mile? Yeah. That's a big deal. Can you can you do five push-ups? As a woman, can you do five push-ups? Like, I need you to be uh, active, okay? I need you to be, like, some level of healthy so that we can have a nice life. Like, I want to go travel and see things and do things. Bro, our schedule to travel and fly across planes, and you have to be moderately healthy or else you're going to be sick. That's very true. Can you get on top? Because sometimes... A man wants you to get on top. You can't be lazy. You got to get on top and ride that thing. If you can't even get up there and get into a squat position, that's a problem. We had this conversation about how much it is, how it is to be a workout when you, to have intercourse and to do it with a person who is 200 plus pounds. Bro, like, just think about that. It's like, think about carrying 200 pounds, flipping over 200 pounds, putting a 100 pound leg on your shoulder, putting two 100 pound legs on your shoulder. Like, <laughs> holy Christ. I mean, that motherfucker like Billy Blanks and shit. <laughs> Ty Bo. Ty Bo yeah, man. Bed. Like, if you love yourself, then you can love me and we can have a great relationship. But if you don't love and respect yourself, then you can talk shit on me all day. And I'm going to continue to laugh at you. They yeah. they went after Kevin Samuel so hard, man. Those big bitches celebrated so hard. They was jumping up and down, nigga. It was a goddamn 5.2 <laughs> on the Richter scale. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trimmers in Houston, hey, nigga. Dog. It, <laughs> hey, dog. It was it was pretty bad, man, how m- most women, I'll say. And it's, it be our women that got together and were just, like, happy that this brother was had passed on. It's ridiculous, man. It's very sad. A humor is the cure for depression, okay? Yeah. I'm telling jokes. If you get mad at the fact that I'm making fun of you being fat, then, hey, do something about being fat. Like, me me talking about you, it doesn't change your reality. Mm-mm. If you want to change your reality, you have to cut them calories. Facts yeah. is facts, baby. Like, a big girl got on a plane and was mad. I think she was a TikToker. I mean, she really was taking up two seats. And then, like, I think she was mad that... The plane didn't accommodate or wait, or even if they charged her for two seats, I think it was even something like that. That's happened before. If you're a certain weight, they're going to charge you for two seats and they get mad. But it's How like, narcissistic is that? That's yeah, crazy. You think that the entire airline industry is supposed to support your big ass. Are you silly? They are. Here's another thing. Black women don't like each other. Let, let's just let's go ahead and let that out the bag. As a whole, black women don't like each other. And Lizzo proves that point again, too, because you you were mistreating women. Who were you? You mistreated women who look like you. And I bet you, you changed up in front of those other people. And I know you probably code switch at times because, like you said, your fan base is primarily white. And you had these young black women who 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 you represent and you were, you know, taking the big shit on them. And I think black women do that as a whole. If you talk to black women about their relationships, with especially black women in the workplace. They don't like each other. 